okay, just uh, to to let you know that uh, we will place the Calendly in the chat box. box. Здравейте отново на всички, които а, се присъединяват към срещата на Юм. А, както и при предходните а, презентации, ще изчакаме 2-3 минутки, за да а, могат всички, да се, всички, които са заинтересовани да се присъединят. А, искам да ви кажа, че а, Алберто който утре ще а, прави срещи индивидуални с а, заинтересовани студенти, а все още има свободни а, а, слотове за срещи и ние ще сложим неговият календар тук в а, чат а, секцията, за да може тези от вас, които се интересуват, да си направят а, среща. Все още, както казах, има свободни слотове. Ето вече е постнат неговият календар, така че ако желаете индивидуална среща, можете да се присъедините чрез е, календара, който преди малко постнахме. Сега да представя отново а, Алберто а, Паравичини, който ще направи тази презентация за вас. А, всъщност Алберто знае и говори малко български, той е изкарал известно време в България а, и предполагам ще се представи малко по-подробно какво е правил тук. Моите колежки Катя и Евелина ще следат за въпросите, които а, ще задавате. Моля да ги а, поставяте в а, чат а, секцията. И на края на презентацията ще има възможност да преведат въпросите, които задавате, ако ги задавате на български язик и съответно Алберто да ги да ви отговори. Алберто, you can start if you wish. Окей, okay, благодаря. Благодаря, Димитър. Добър ден. Здравейте на всички вас. Казвам се Алберто Паравичини и съм учил в България преди много година. В 2000 година бях в Нов Български университет за 6 месеца и учих по семиотика. И много се радвам да съм тук с вас. Не мога да презентира на български. Опитвам се да, да говоря <laughs> български и така че много ми е доволен, много ми е лесно да, 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 да говоря и да, да, да съм с вас. И... <laughs> Well, Alberto, thank you very much for this. Разбирам. Всичко, всичко разбирам, но да, да говоря малко е по-трудничко. Да. Е, Същност, е, започвам да, да, да говоря на, на английски сега и да презентира университета, където съм работил за... Много време, от 2007. And this is our university, actually. It's called the IULM University. In Italian, we call it Università Yulm. And uh, basically, it's an acronym. So um, the university was founded more than 50 years ago as a foreign language university. I am also a student. Uh, I was also a student of this university. I am an, 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 an alumnus. Uh, and uh, during the university here, I had this uh, wonderful opportunity to come to Bulgaria 
and to study as a study abroad uh, as, an Erasmus, as, as an Erasmus student. And uh, Bulgaria was very different at the time. The university also was different. Even our university, which has been growing a lot during the past uh, 20 years. And uh, at the moment, uh, I am uh, the coordinator of the study abroad and the International Recruitment Office. So uh, I'm very happy, very lucky to work in a wonderful place, a wonderful working place and doing a, a great, great job because I, I, I can help students to um, do, do what I think it's the most uh, beautiful thing. So, so to experience uh, abroad, to experience uh, uh, different places. And uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, our team is very dedicated and very keen in uh, helping each of our candidates uh, in, uh, in, 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 their, in their fulfillment. So a few words about the university. I can start now the presentation uh, telling you a bit of the history and the structure. I already mentioned uh, the university was founded uh, 50 years ago, like, I mean, now it's uh, almost uh, 50 three years ago in uh, 1968. And uh, since the beginning, since uh, its beginning in foreign language, the university has transformed, has evolved itself uh, into the reference point the reference institution in Italy for communication. And we also include a third faculty, as you can see, beyond uh, communication, interpreting and translation, we also have a communication dealing with arts and tourism. It's a private university, it's one of the few private universities in Italy, 90% of the universities in Italy are public university, and then we have uh, a small bunch of uh, private and specialized institutions. Our institution uh, is the communication private university. And uh, it's very known uh, in, uh, in Italy, and uh, now it's becoming uh, known also elsewhere in the world for its strong relation with the job market. So uh, somehow in Italy, it's also called uh, the internship university because of the strong bondage we have with companies. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, it's also a fully fledged university, also research oriented university, we offer programs uh, from bachelor to PhDs. A few numbers. It's a medium sized institution, so it's not huge. The total number um, of the student body, we have around uh, a little bit less than 7,000 students with uh, uh, 300 uh, full-time professor and a lot more of uh, teaching collaborators and uh, the university is truly an Italian university but uh, if we talk about uh, the English taught programs 20% uh, of those programs are attended by international students so the international community is being growing a lot during the past uh, three four years and uh, is still growing the university is located in uh, uh, one campus. It's quite big campus with uh, uh, 65,000 square meters. Uh, it, the campus is made up of uh, seven different buildings plus two dorms. And everything is very interconnected, close, um, like a, an American style campus. It's, everything is just uh, in one spot. We also have uh, a dedicated subway station close uh, to the university. It's 200 meters from the university. And uh, from uh, the subway, you can reach uh, all Milan very easily. Uh, I told you we have uh, different uh, courses uh, at a bachelor level, master level. We also have a specialized one-year masters. And uh, I will tell you a bit more about this later. Uh, about ranking, uh, I mean, uh, Italian university, generally speaking, are not very much into those rankings, but uh, uh, we have uh, approached also this uh, rat race, but uh, and uh, faring pretty good, especially for what we are very good at. So engagement, 
closely connected with the students, uh, with the companies, uh, with, the, with the people. And we are ranked uh, three among uh, uh, private mid-sized universities in Italy, according to the national ranking by census. And of course, uh, yeah, ULM uh, is in Milan, and you all know a lot about Milan. I don't have to, to just to spend many words about this. You know everything about uh, soccer, you know everything about the uh, design fashion, but uh, maybe some of you don't know that Milan is also the economic uh, capital, the finance capital of Italy. It's located in, uh, in uh, it's one of the most rich, one of the richest places uh, in, in not only in Italy, but uh, even in Europe. And uh, despite being a, a traditional Italian city, so with all the historical traditional legacy museums uh, um, I mean in great art galleries uh, and I mean you all know the Duomos and all the other churches in, uh, in Milan uh, but Milan is also truly a cosmopolitan city so it's the most European among the Italian cities and um, this is uh, I mean related to the very history of Milan because Milan is uh, in the middle of uh, a plain, very close to the Alps, uh, very close uh, to uh, the Po River. It's a crossroads. Uh, and in the very name of Milan means uh, in the middle of land. So being, uh, being uh, in the middle of the land uh, means, uh, of course, uh, being a crossroads uh, of cultures, of people, also a trading post. Uh, and uh, so I think uh, it's, uh, it's a great city to live in and uh, also one of the best city to be a student in. The city is uh, in the Lombardy region. And uh, as I mentioned, the Lombardy region is the number two in, uh, in the European Union for uh, the gross domestic products. So for the richness of the, of the people, even, even now, even at the time of uh, pandemic, I mean, uh, uh, the city is thriving and uh, despite uh, the old difficulty between uh, the lockdowns and, uh, and the different uh, color zones, I mean, uh, I mean, everyone is uh, pretty busy and the city is puzzling uh, ever, since, since ever. And so, I mean, there is not much difference, uh, even if uh, the bars close uh, earlier at night. These are uh, just uh, three main features about uh, a ULM institution or ULM university. Of course, uh, we have a very um, dedicated approach uh, to, towards the internationalization of the university. Uh, it cannot be elsewhere, of course, uh, because we were born as a foreign language university. So as a, as a university devoted to connecting people, connecting countries. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, a great network of martyrs, even elsewhere in, uh, in Europe and uh, in the world. And uh, international students coming to the university, of course, uh, if they want, they can uh, also experience uh, an extended global approach, uh, global outreach, uh, taking a, a semester abroad uh, or any any kind of study abroad experience. Uh, we have a lot of partners uh, everywhere in the world uh, and the students can also take an internship or uh, do their research thesis uh, abroad. I also mentioned before that we are very closely connected with the world of work uh, and uh, we organize uh, a lot of internship uh, together with our partner companies, but uh, that's not just for uh, the end of your academic career, because companies uh, are integrated into the teaching. A lot, a lot of modules are taught by professionals, and uh, even those uh, modules or those courses uh, taught by academics, taught by, I mean, classical faculty, I mean, they invite uh, almost every week uh, someone from the, the world of 
of work. It can be a marketing a director, it can be the CEO from one company. And they give, uh, they provoke the students, uh, they very often give assignment to the students. Uh, and so people and can, can work on real issues. I think uh, this is a really, I mean, exciting for everyone uh, because uh, you can, uh, you can experience the job, the job uh, attitude even when you're a student and in a safe environment. So like a sandbox, you can play around, but you can, you can tackle real issues. And uh, the third feature would be about the guidance. So being a medium-sized university, even still retaining a, like a, a, a small community attitude. So, I mean, uh, we have uh, a lot of guidance services uh, uh, since the very beginning, even before you're actually a student of the university. And uh, when you're a prospect student, uh, you, you can talk to people who will know you, your family, your uh, dreams, your goals, and will coach you, will guide you towards uh, I mean, uh, the best choice for you. And this goes on and on during the, the, whole, the whole academic year life uh, of a student, um, especially through a peer tutoring project. So we have uh, senior students, uh, usually students enrolled in a master program, coaching and guiding uh, newcomers throughout uh, the first months uh, and the first year of their academic career. And this is something, I mean, uh, very useful, uh, very, uh, much appreciated by our our students. So let me introduce uh, just a, a few names, a few titles of the bachelor degrees we have. As you can easily see from uh, this slide, uh, the majority of the program are still uh, taught in Italian and they range from uh, the language part, the linguistic part, with interpreting and communication, which is a, a really technical program, training uh, interpreters and translators, translators from Italian to English, to French, Spanish, Russian, uh, German, Chinese, Arabic, so towards a lot of languages actually, but uh, the starting point would be just one and the same, so Italian. So if you're looking at such a program, your Italian levels should be pretty high. It should be, uh, I mean, at least a B2, but we suggest a C1 uh, if you want to fare very, very good in such a program. We have a, another program, another bachelor program in the same faculty as interpreting, which is called Modern Languages for Digital Humanities. It's both a, a classical linguistic program and the modern one. So it combines uh, literature, it combines uh, uh, art uh, and uh, history and sociology together with the, with the more modern approach uh, for uh, with, with a lot of workshops uh, about uh, writing and uh, using the media and the digital media, of course. Talking about communication, uh, we, we cannot, uh, I mean, do without our main programs. Uh, we have two main programs, one dealing with the media studies, it's called communication, media and advertising. So, so with the, everything which is related to different means of communicating a concept, a, a text towards uh, uh, any, any kind of audience and uh, throughout uh, um, different, uh, as, as the, the names suggest, different media. So it can be with the cinema, theater, um, of course, uh, yeah, the, the advertising languages uh, and the television and transmit, transmediality and uh, intermediality as well. The other program we offer in the Faculty of Communication is called the Corporate Communication and Public Relations. And I will spend a few words about this because uh, uh, this program is offered not only in Italian, but uh, as you can see, it's offered in English as well. So actually we have uh, two different uh, classes and uh, uh, the classes uh, which is taught in English is fully taught in English, of course, uh, 
And uh, I think this is the, the most in interesting program you can look at, of course, if you don't speak Italian. Just uh, closing up to with the, with the Italian taught programs, uh, we can uh, just uh, take a look at the three programs included in the faculty dealing with the arts and tourism. Uh, one, uh, namely, of course, is dealing with the tourism management. The other one is more about the promotion of arts and cultural events. And we have uh, another one, which is uh, really interesting for uh, everyone who loves Milan and Italy and it's called the fashion and creative industries. So we really hope these programs will be offered in English as well pretty soon, but at the moment uh, you have to just uh, to be proficient in Italian, you have to, uh, I mean, to have at least a B2 level to approach those programs. But I, I'm pretty sure that uh, many of you who are watching this presentation, who are with us in this presentation can do it pretty fine because uh, during my experience in Bulgaria, I met people, I met Bulgarian people speaking Italian much better than I do. And also we, we had a lot of quarrels and a lot of fun uh, talking about uh, the languages and uh, the different ways of saying this and that. And uh, I must admit uh, that at the end, uh, they, were, they were right <laughs> and I was wrong. So, I mean, uh, the, Go with this and uh, we will help you throughout your, your academic career. Just another few words about corporate communication and public relations, because uh, this is a kind of flagship program from, uh, by the university at, at the ULM University, because uh, this is uh, actually the first course in public relation ever established in Italy. Uh, of course, it's a three-year bachelor program. All bachelor programs in Italy are three-year longs, so apart from uh, um, programs dealing with uh, architecture or medicine, so very few programs. But all the rest of the bachelor are three-year bachelor, awarding 180 ECTS, so university credits. The teaching staff, the teaching body of this program, as you can see, is made up of both professionals and academics. It's kind of 50-50. And uh, uh, the course, uh, despite being a, I mean, a bachelor program, so having also a theoretical approach, uh, the, the program is really hands-on. So uh, together with, with our partner companies, so we offer students uh, a lot of, of uh, practical activities, a lot of practical workshops uh, and ways to challenge themselves. Uh, and uh, as, uh, as I mentioned, to, to tackle real issues uh, and usually to present the outcome of the project in front of the board of companies. And uh, yeah, for being a, a bachelor program, also the placement outcome is pretty good. And uh, talking about uh, the study plan, of corporate communication and public relation, I think it's very important to mention that uh, this program combines both uh, classical social sciences, uh, like uh, sociology or psychology or the theory of communication with a very solid uh, foundation about economics and management. So you will face uh, modules about uh, about economics, about marketing, about statistics, about also uh, HR and uh, uh, co corporate management. Uh, so this is, uh, I mean, I think uh, um, the, the right program for people who are not only looking at communication as a way of expressing themselves, but uh, as a tool to achieve uh, some specific goals. It can be, I don't know, like, uh, um, you want to promote a, a, a new product or you want to be elected into, into the parliament. Uh, you want to convince people that uh, vaccination is something important or you can just, uh, I mean, uh, uh, promote uh, uh, yeah, your, your new business. So this is uh, uh, for every, every kind of uh, sector, every kind of industry and includes everything that has to do with both internal and external communication activities.
a quick introduction about uh, the master degrees and the master programs. And uh, yeah, if uh, we were uh, live uh, in a uh, actual physical hall, I would ask uh, how many of you are interested in one program or in another. And uh, but uh, so you please bear with me if you're not interested in master degrees, but I will I will be quick about this. Uh, and uh, of course, if you're interested, then we can delve into deeper details uh, later on in the Q&A session. So uh, in Italy, actually, there are two different uh, paths, two different uh, curricula of a master degree. This is the most uh, traditional one, is the two-year master degree. And uh, I, I, I told you it's the most traditional bit because this is uh, something that can lead even to a PhD program. And uh, we offer both uh, Italian taught programs and English taught programs. Uh, as you can see, it's very, it's very quickly to, it's very easy to grasp uh, uh, that uh, they are the direct continuation, the direct evolution of the bachelor programs. Uh, so it can be specialized translation if you're coming from uh, interpreting and communication, it can be television, cinema, new media if you're attending the media study program. Uh, marketing consumption and communication or, or artificial intelligence and business society are closely related to the one in public relation and corporate communication. And uh, of course, uh, art valorization and market uh, is more into the promotion of arts and cultural events, of course. And uh, if we take a look at the English taught programs, uh, we have a, a very interesting one dealing with communication it's called strategic communication and another one in the hospitality and tourism sector it's hospitality and uh, tourist management both are fully taught in english and both also have uh, dual degree opportunities with other university in the world strategic for communication for instance uh, is uh, uh, is a program training communication directors. So people who are able not only to cope with uh, um, every single aspect of internal and external communication, but also having the same understanding of uh, the management of a company. And so uh, people who can sit at the board of the directors together with people talking about operation, talking about uh, finance, uh, talking about uh, uh, HR management. And uh, uh, as a, this is, a, I mean, a common, a common feature, a common characteristic of all the master programs, uh, this is a really practical. So, I mean, assessment, uh, group work uh, are the bread and butter of this program every, every, every week. Of course, it has an international faculty. And uh, also, I think uh, this is uh, really peculiar, has an advisory board. An advisory board is made up of professionals. Professional we consulted with before actually designing the program. Either they are a marketing and communication director from several companies. Uh, you can recognize, of course, a lot of uh, Italian and international brands in this slide, but uh, there are even, uh, I mean, like uh, uh, organization you cannot uh, you cannot uh, recognize, uh, like uh, the industry organization for uh, Lombardy region, or even, I mean, uh, the uh, archbishops in, in Milan. But uh, so they range from very different industries. Uh, and uh, they consult with the, the, the teaching body. They also teach in the, in the course. And uh, most importantly, I think, uh, they offer internship and placement opportunities to the students. So this is uh, just a very practical example of uh, how we work with companies and how we relate with uh, the world of work which is, uh, I think, the main goal of people attending the university, especially at master level. Of course, the same goes also for the second uh, English taught program, the second, uh, uh, I mean, Master of Science in English we offer. It's, uh, uh, it seems a very specialistic, a very niche program dealing with hospitality and tourism, but the hospitality despite the current situation is actually a huge sector and uh, it's much more than it looks 
And uh, this program, before being an hospitality program, it's, it's a management program. So people attending uh, such, a, such a course can expect a, a lot of management, a lot of economics as well. Uh, of course, uh, everything is more uh, linked to one specific industry, but uh, uh, this can offer a wide range of working opportunities as well. And uh, uh, also, I mean, uh, um, dual degree opportunities, we partner with the, one of the best uh, college of hospitality in the US, one in the, in the top 10 uh, of uh, hospitality colleges, actually. Um, it's the Rosen College of Hospitality at UCF in Florida. And uh, students can also choose and apply for spending the second year entirely at UCF in Orlando. And uh, once they graduated from, uh, from uh, the, the program at UCF, they can also spend another additional year in the US working in the same industry. So they can have an OPT. And uh, that's a very, very interesting. And uh, I mean, a very exciting for, not only for the, 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 the job prospect it might, it might open up, but uh, also for the experience itself. Even the program in strategic communication has dual degree opportunities, but at the moment they offer a dual degree with the two UK university, namely the University of Huddersfield and the Cardiff Metropolitan University. When we come to professional masters, you just have to understand the small difference between two year programs and <laughs> Of course, it's not that they are shorter, they last just one year, but the didactic to the academic structure is very different. Two year Master of Science are much more similar in their development as a bachelor program. They have semester, they have examination session, like everything you can expect from a university. While professional master are usually made up of uh, two different uh, mm, yeah, sectors so like uh, you have a, a, an initial period lasting usually six months when you have a lot of training, a lot of intensive training. So you can expect it to spend uh, all your day from uh, nine to, to five, nine to six at the university in a, a small group of uh, around 20, 25 people. Uh, from Monday to Friday, working on different modules with a really very practical and hands-on approach. And then at the end of these uh, six, uh, six months, you can spend another six months uh, doing your internship. But this internship is not something optional and uh, something possible uh, as, as, as it is in bachelor program or, or in a two-year Master of Science, but it's something compulsory, it's something a part of your training, of your education. And the very um, peculiarity about one-year professional master is the, the fact that this internship uh, is provided by the university according to your goals and your needs. So if you take a look at the different programs, of course, they are much more specific. They can range from uh, game design to journalism, to food and wine communication, to international communication. And uh, um, of course, we also offer a lot of, of uh, English taught programs. Uh, you can take a look at the list, uh, uh, like international marketing and sales uh, and other um, fast track to the, the industry in the, in, the, um, in the field of tourism and hospitality. We have one uh, with uh, international relation and so on. So they are much more specialistics. And uh, of course, uh, during the one-on-one -on -one session uh, with me or with my colleagues, uh, you can talk a bit more about those programs. All right. If you're still with me, uh, this is very easy. It's uh, the, the procedure for admission. It's very, very easy because, uh, I mean, if you, we're talking about the three-year bachelor degrees, uh, of course, you need uh, uh, to be graduated. But of course, you can apply when you're in your final year of, uh, of high school. 
you need at least uh, 12 years of schooling. No, no, no Chilish in, in Bulgaria has any problem about this. So, I mean, uh, your, your uh, title is very fine. And uh, uh, about the language requirements, of course, uh, you need a B2 level. Uh, of course, uh, if you're applying for an English taught program, uh, you need to demonstrate a, a B2 level in English. If it's in, in Italian, the same goes for Italian. Uh, there are, of, of, of course, there are official certifications uh, like uh, the ones you know pretty well, like IELTS or TOEFL. But uh, if you don't have uh, an official certificate, we will provide you an assessment test. So don't worry if you haven't taken uh, uh, the first certificate of English or you haven't taken the, this, this SILES uh, uh, exam for Italian. Uh, you can demonstrate uh, your language proficiency with a, a university test. The procedure is very easy because uh, you just have to log in into an application platform. It's, it's uh, uh, at uh, apply.iulm.it. We will assess your qualification and get back to you within uh, five days, usually even, even less. And uh, if you're eligible, and uh, I think um, I mean, the, all of you are eligible for our programs, uh, you take the admission test. The admission test is a general knowledge test. Uh, it's a bit of uh, uh, numbers, uh, logics, uh, but uh, it's not something you have to really prepare for. So, I mean, just to be relaxed, calm as you are, and take this online admission test. And if you pass the test, of course, you can go on with the online enrollment. And that's it, because uh, I mean, uh, uh, you don't need any letter of invitation. You don't need anything uh, unless you're uh, coming from a, a no European country. So, I mean, if any of you, uh, I mean, has a, not, not a Bulgarian citizenship, uh, that this may be the case, but uh, uh, I don't think uh, that uh, 99% of you uh, require this, this step as well. So it's just the, the three starting steps and you're done. Pretty much the same works also for the two year master of degrees. And uh, one, of, uh, uh, one difference of course uh, is that uh, you need a bachelor degree somehow related to the chosen program. Of course, uh, if, you're, if you're graduating in biotechnology, uh, I mean, it can be very hard to apply for a program in translation and interpreting, but if something is similar, we will assess your qualification and get back to you with an evaluation about this. Same thing about uh, the uh, language proficiency. In some programs, you need a higher language proficiency. For instance, if you're applying uh, for translation, uh, you need a, a C1 proficiency. And the rest is just, just the same because you apply the same platform. Um, eligibility check, okay, that's fine. You take the admission test. The admission test is, in, is different for each program in this way. It can be uh, an online interview with the, with the course coordinator. It can be a written test, but everything is just online. And then you go on with the online enrollment, uh, paying the first installment, uh, you're in. You got a matriculation number, uh, you're a member of our family. Okay, so uh, I think I can raise a bit of attention with uh, this, uh, this slide. And usually when you talk about money, everyone is uh, very interested. <laughs> uh, just talking about uh, undergraduate programs and two-year postgraduate programs, you can take a look at the tuition fee. It's a flat rate for international students, and it's 8,400 euro per year for undergraduate and 9,800 euro per year for postgraduate programs. Tuition fees are due in three different installments. So the first one is due at enrollment, and then the second one, mid-December and the third one in at the end of March. Of course, for international, uh, international students, uh, we also design a, a wide range of uh, financial aid opportunities. 
and uh, I will start with the 50% reduction. So this is exclusively based on your merit and uh, can give you a 50% reduction. So you pay half price for your first year. And uh, this, uh, this is for the first year, but you can renew, you can apply for a renewal of the reduction also for the following year. So you can have uh, for the whole duration of uh, your career at the university. It's based on uh, your uh, previous title final score. So if you're applying for a bachelor, it's based on your high score, high, high school the final score. And uh, if you're applying for a master of science, uh, that's based on your bachelor. And uh, the, the threshold, so the minimum requirement uh, is around 70%. You, we make a, a calculation, we make an, an equivalency. And um, of course, uh, if you're eligible, we will, we will uh, give you this. That's not for all uh, applicants, actually. That's uh, for a limited number. So, I mean, uh, if you're interested, uh, please apply as soon as you can because uh, uh, this uh, post is your opportunities for landing this, uh, uh, this reduction. The same goes for campus accommodation because uh, uh, to live in the dorms inside the university, you can take uh, the standard call, which is based both on merit and on income requirements, or you can take the shortcut and use the reserved slots we have for international students. Uh, I must admit that we are approaching uh, the end of these uh, slots this year, because at the moment we had to cut down the number of uh, slots available because of the pandemic. So usually in our dorms, we have uh, twin rooms. Now we have just single rooms. So, so we cut the slots available by 50%. So yeah, it's a, it's a great pity. But uh, if you cannot have uh, on-campus accommodation, I mean, don't despair, don't worry. We have also an accommodation service uh, uh, offering a lot of opportunities uh, very close to the campus uh, at uh, a very affordable prices, price as well. As any Italian university, we also offer regional scholarships. Regional scholarships are something provided uh, in terms of funding by the region, but they are managed by the university. And uh, in, for, uh, for land, such, a, such a, an opportunity, such a reduction is uh, not only based uh, on your merit, but it's also based on your family income. So you need to go through a bit of paperwork and translation of uh, all the documents related to your fina financial status. Uh, but if you get a regional scholarship, that's uh, super. I mean, uh, that's great because uh, you get uh, a full tuition refund. So you you're not you don't get a tuition waiver. You have to pay the fees for the first year. But at the end of the year, if you fare very well, of course uh, you you have uh, a, a full tuition refund. So you get all the money you paid back one year later. Uh, apart from this, uh, you can get even a grant, so you get an extra uh, up to 4,500 euros. Uh, you can have also uh, shortcuts uh, even to accommodation and uh, also a free meal service for every day you, you spend at the university. So, I mean, I, I think that's great. Uh, the downside of this is that you have to wait and apply uh, starting from June and you get the result uh, after enrollment, you get the result in November, actually. But this can be combined also with the 50% reduction. So my personal advice would be to go for the 50% reduction, which is something you, send, you can secure even before coming to Italy, and also apply for the regional scholarship. So you, if you get the scholarship, then, well, you have something to celebrate, and that's great. Okay, so I think we are... Uh, approaching uh, the end of the presentation and it's time for the Q&A. Uh, so just uh, looking forward to seeing you all in Milan. And uh, in the meanwhile, while you talk, think about uh, your questions, uh, I can show you just a few pictures of the campus uh, and you can uh, uh, notice uh, how beautiful it is. This is uh, our uh, main uh, building, number one. 
with uh, the pools and uh, no one is allowed to dive but the ducks who lives nearby and uh, my office is uh, somewhere here okay so if you're looking for me i'm on the fourth floor and be waiting for you this is a, a part of the garden leading to the dorms it's uh, very very nice so you can spend uh, the summer and the spring uh, just uh, studying relaxing playing around uh, in the garden of the university this is the picture of the big auditorium with uh, 600 seats uh, where uh, big events like uh, uh, the annual opening of the academic year or even concerts uh, any kind of ceremony is held in this place and also some of the of the classes actually this is uh, called uh, the IULM lounge where all of the VIPs are uh, met and uh, we have uh, special meetings here and this is the canteen of course you can you can uh, have your lunch at the university it's pretty good and this is a picture of one of the dorms it's actually dorm number two it's a uh, it's part of a restructuring a refurbishment of a very old farm dating back to the 16th century it's five minutes from the main campus and uh, this is a picture it's pre-covid era and uh, it's uh, our school of uh, journalism and so i mean uh, just uh Благодаря ви много за вниманието да да бъдете с мен днеска. And these are our contact details. Of course, we have a direct contact with the Skylines. You can refer to our partners. Or if you want, you can write directly to admission. You can reach us through our website and also through a dedicated WhatsApp number. Uh, you can talk to Maria, my colleague, and uh, she will be very, I mean, keen at answering all your questions. As I am today and now, so let's uh, start with this. I think uh, Evelina is back with us and uh, Katya as well. So I'm here with you. Hi, Alberto. Thank you very much. Um, and you can just start with the questions. Okay. Yes. Um, so Viara wanted to know if the program, which is actually in Italian, uh, let me just, I'm trying to find the question, fashion and creative industries, is it the best option for studying fashion? It depends uh, on uh, what you want to do or what uh, she wants to do about fashion. So it's not for one uh, anyone who wants to be a stylist who wants to create uh, uh, dresses it's more um, dealing with uh, managing the, the 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 fashion industry so uh, the, the program also includes uh, some management of, in this so it's it's not an, an academy it's not a fashion academy of course uh, our university that doesn't offer those programs but um, of course, we can take a look together at the study plan of the of the program and see. I mean, if uh, if it's uh, the right choice for her. And uh, on the, our website, uh, we can offer also a full description of all the modules, and uh, we can also organize a meeting with someone who's studying at the program or with the course director, just to make everything very clear. Okay, thank you. And there is a question from Gergana Petrova. How much does it cost to live in Milan monthly, like accommodation, food and travel costs altogether? Yeah, that, that's a great question, actually. <laughs> great question. And uh, I mean, the answer, of course, uh, it depends on your, your uh, way of living or your lifestyle. It can cost uh, a lot. Uh, but uh, if we have to make a, a very rough estimate. Um, if you're not living on campus and you have to pay for accommodation and everything, everything including so um, boarding, uh, uh, eating out, uh, um, some leisures and public transportation, uh, I think uh, that uh, it, it might cost uh, from uh, seven, 100 to 1000 euro depending especially on accommodation 
I mean, public transportation is still very cheap. It's uh, one of the cheapest things that you can uh, you can have. Uh, you can have a monthly pass and travel all around uh, uh, the city for 20 euro per, per month. So it's, that's great. And uh, eating also is not very expensive. Uh, I think uh, the, the main thing is about accommodation. So uh, depending on uh, whether you want to share a room or you want your private single room or you want a whole uh, penthouse for you in the city center. Yeah, I mean, that, that can be outrageously expensive. <laughs> okay. Another question. Yeah, we answered this. We will send to all of you the presentation recorded uh, in the next days. Um, there is a question from Kalina. Uh, is she able to study music there if she doesn't know Italian? But it's not very clear, like for a bachelor level music or simply to study music as a separate yeah be because uh, to study music uh, you you have uh, special music schools and uh, like uh, the conservatory and the music conservatorio in milan uh, that that's a different path it's uh, yeah it's it's at university level but it's a different path of course and uh, I mean, uh, this is mainly about music, so you, you don't really have to speak Italian about this. Uh, and, uh, and at and our university, we have uh, some music modules in uh, Italian taught programs, uh, like in the one of uh, uh, communication, uh, media and advertising, but that's not 100% uh, about music, of course. I think uh, that uh, the only university program about music is uh, in, uh, is in a town uh, 100 kilometers from Milan, which is called uh, Cremona, and uh, they have a, a program in, uh, in music as well. I think it's offered by Ca Catholic University, if I'm not mistaken, in Italian. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Italian? Uh, check <laughs> <Could> this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a nice task for later to check. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in okay. musicology or something like this. <laughs> yeah, but it's more from the academic side of the... Yes, yes, yes. Music mainly from the academic side. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So far, no other questions. I also, think. depending on the which music uh, she he will would love to study. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We have a few masters about uh, about uh, music and the music industry as well. Well, I don't know. Shall we wait a little bit more if somebody wants? Yeah, I'm a prosy. Yeah, <laughs> we would like to remind you all uh, about the Kalengli meeting yes. possibility for tomorrow, and now we're going to re-share the link. But it's not going to be with you, Alberto. Um, but... It's a, actually it's another Alberto. So to make things a bit uh, more difficult, <laughs> 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 so uh, the, actually inside our office uh, we have two Albertos, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> okay. we, you, you, yeah, I, because I'm old, uh, I am I am Alberto one, and so you will meet yeah. with a I mean. Alberto too. Yeah, younger, younger Alberto. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So we posted again the link so that everyone can copy. Because uh, even, even if it's not tomorrow, of course, uh, people can uh, can reach us because, of course, uh, uh, Nedelia and Nedelia. Eh? <laughs> so if you have uh, better things to do and uh, you cannot manage it for tomorrow, of course, uh, we can arrange meetings uh, even, I mean, next week. Uh, I wouldn't say next month because it's better to make things uh, as early as possible, of course, but we are at your disposal, no problem at all. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can speak also with Alberto Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Which is you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or with Maria, Gabriela. I mean, we, we, we have a dedicated staff with uh, for food of people. Yes. This is the, the the part of the work we we love the most, of course, interacting with people. So I mean, no problem over this. There is a question from Viara. 
about the, any student loan opportunities? Do you know if this uh, in Tessa Sao Paulo, if the bank still uh, gives that loan? Uh, presto con lode, presto con lode. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not managed directly by the university. There are some uh, issues about loans uh, with uh, people not living in in Italy. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, th that's something uh, they can apply through the Intesa San Paolo. Yes, Intesa San Paolo. Yeah, prestito con lode. I think that yeah, was prestito con lode. Exactly. Con lode, like a bridge yeah. loan. Yeah, it's a, it's a loan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prestito is the Italian name for uh, for loan. And what we rem I remember is that this loan is called a bridge loan. So you basically don't pay when you take it. You don't pay during your studies and after you finish you have one year that you're like yeah but uh, i mean there are some restriction and limitation and they are not very um, they are not that common as uh, they were uh, for instance uh, with with the uh, with the bridge loan in the uk and uh, so in in italy usually it's uh, much easier to have uh, like a like or a reduction or a refund uh, to have uh, some partial uh, exemption for paying the, the tuition fees uh, um, and uh, having a loan, it's a bit more complicated. <laughs> like because it's from a bank, it's not from exactly, the government. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And again, we're waiting if there are any other questions and to remind that the next presentation is about to start in like four minutes. And this should be who's next? <laughs> uh, Liz Guido Carly. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah. So the um, the Luisa is is in Rome. It's another private university. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, so, thank you too. Thank you all for attending, and thank you Alberto for presenting. Alberto. Oh, yeah. thank <laughs> you. Alberto <laughs> That was, uh, I mean, a great pleasure for me, and uh, I hope uh, it was the same for you. Not not too boring, and uh, so I mean, blagudereja vam nogu, sičko hubavo i. Thank you. Do skoro. Do skoro. Ajde, še ste vidi mnogo skoro. No, na istina, eh? ne, ne samo <laughs> taka. <laughs> Hi, ciao. Ciao, Alberto, ciao. Ciao, ciao.